So we will continue on the third type of uh, curvilinear motion, which is now the R theta. Okay, we have seen the first one, x, y analysis, and then we go to uh, normal tangent and t analysis, and then this is the last one, which is R theta. We will look at how to construct R theta axis and how we analyze problem involving R theta uh, analysis. Okay, so uh, follow this one. We have similar to x, y, the r theta refer to a fixed point. If you still remember, for the x, y, we only have one y and x. Okay, only one fixed point for the axis. Okay, but for the nt later on, we have similar to nt r theta analyze one point at a time. Okay, so. For NT, we have tangent, normal, tangent, normal. Okay, so it said that similar to XY, we have one fixed point, which is always here, zero, zero. Okay, but it is also similar to NT, which is it will analyze the component at each Point. Each different point will give you different axis. Okay, but unlike the x x y axis, the r theta axis are located at the particle. So the x y the r theta is also located at the particle like n t. Okay, but it will always refer to one fixed point. Okay, it, it is a mix of x y and also n t. So how do we construct this one? Let's say. We have uh, this type of motion. I take this type of motion. Component moving this direction or moving from from here to this direction. So this is the, the motion, and this is the particle. Particle. Or let's say this is the particle. Particle B. Okay. So you say that R S is draw a line from zero zero to the point. The positive R axis is the outward extension of this line. So first of all, you must have one fixed point. For example, if the question, normally the question will give you a fixed point, a reference point. Okay, analyze this component based on what point. Okay, it will give you the fixed point to be your zero zero to be your reference point. Let's say this is your reference point. Zero zero. Okay, so. From this zero zero, say that the R axis you draw a line from this zero zero towards that point, okay, and the R positive R axis is outward extension of this point. So I have to draw this line, make a line here, okay, and extension of this one outward will be your R axis, okay. Second one, normally in the question, they will show you the angle, which is, let's say I'm showing this is the angle theta, okay, if this is the angle theta, okay, say that theta s is perpendicular to the r s is, uh, the positive is directed toward increasing the, the theta, okay, so always remember that the axis must always 90 degree to, the, to each other, this one, x y 90 degree and theta and t 90 degree always 90 degree to each other so the other one this one must also 90 degree so if i'm taking this 90 degree here so i have 90 degree the question is downward or upward so this direction you have to refer to this theta if the theta here is giving like this one meaning that to increase the theta you have to go go this direction right so the positive will go this direction as the direction of the theta. Okay, so it depends on the question if they write to you, give you this as the theta, the positive will go that, that way. So the R also, it didn't uh, it didn't affected by the direction of the motion. If the component moving this direction, the R always to that one. Okay, it didn't, didn't depend. Like this one, it depends on the direction of the motion. But this one, it didn't depend on the direction of the motion. 
it just from the zero zero towards this point and uh, go through you have the arc and then the end the theta uh, 90 degree and then towards the increase of this one what I mean by this one is also if okay let's say I have same yeah type of motion okay and then from here the giving theta is there Okay, if the theta is given is given here, your arc will be make a line, extend, there is your arc, okay, and the theta, because the theta is there, so the increase of theta is this direction. So 90 degree downward is your is your theta. This is the direction positive arc, positive theta, positive arc, positive theta. It depends on the increase of theta for the theta, positive theta here. And outward of this direction will be your arc. Okay? It doesn't matter which direction the movement of the component. Okay, so same as this one. If I'm taking this one, let's say, because it said that the x, y, and the r theta, we will draw the axis on the particle. So if the particle moving from here to there, if we are taking this one, so the r will be make a line to to that. Extend. You have the r. Theta increase when so you have the theta which is 90 degree. So that is how you draw R theta axis. Okay, so normally the direction of theta is will be given to you so that you can draw which direction as positive. Okay, it always refer to this 0, 0, 1. Okay, we will look at an uh, example to understand better how to draw the axis and analyze. As what we have done into a previous uh, subject, uh, the x, y, the n, t, and so on, we will resolve the velocity and also the acceleration towards the uh, axis. Okay, in this case, we will resolve the uh, the the velocity into r. So meaning that we have v r and v theta, and also acceleration we will have a r and also a theta. So in this book, it is said that the velocity, so we have V equal to VR plus V theta. Of course, this is a vector unit. So you should consider the direction also. Okay? And we have at the same time, the VR, this one, VR equal to R dot and V theta equal to R Theta dot. Okay, the R dot here is the rate of change of R. Okay, rate of change of R, and theta dot here is rate of change of theta. Okay, so this is meter over second. This is radian over over second. Okay, so and the other one is we will have uh, a, which is a equal to a R plus a, a theta and also we should have here a r equal to r double dot plus r theta dot squared and then a theta equal to r theta double dot plus 2 r dot theta dot ok so the R dot is the rate of change of R double dot is the rate rate of change of R dot. So it will be meter over second squared. Theta double dot is the rate of change of theta. So radian over second squared. Okay. So we will use this equation. Two from here and two from here. So of course the first thing you need to do is you must be able to draw r theta axis and then resolve the r into the velocity into vr and v theta and then acceleration into ar and a theta and sometimes you need to also involve the uh, other axis okay because some of the axis uh, you cannot directly get the answer from here let's say a you cannot directly get from here the a you can easily get from normal tangent because sometimes the question said that the 
uh, as a, the velocity is constant, so you have a tangent equal to zero. At the same time, you will have a normal equal to v squared divided by rho. So if you know this one, you can get the value of a. Later on, you can resolve this a. Okay. So sometimes the question will combine r theta, n axis, and also x y. It depends on the question. But most of the question I see, we have uh, the combination of uh, something plus the NPSs. Okay, so you must be able to first get this one and then you can calculate that one. And how to uh, differentiate between uh, which axis that you need to use. Normally, for R theta axis, it is in our subject. Okay, in our subject, in our syllabus, it is clearly stated to us because normally the question will ask you or determine determine the r dot theta dot r double dot theta double dot normally that's the question if the question want you to uh, to find the to use the r theta axis it will be said clearly in that question on sometimes the question will give the r, theta, r dot and theta dot is something something and then you need to calculate other things so it's clear to you the r dot theta dot r double dot and theta dot involved in the calculation so you have to draw the r theta axis okay so that's how you uh, make a difference between what type of axis that you want to use okay so we will look at this example which is exercise 3.16 page 60, 67, which is this one, okay, I hope it is clear, okay, so, the question said, uh, fighter jet B, this one, fly along a curve with a constant velocity, okay, so the thing is, said here, it is a curve, and we have a constant velocity of one let's see it is here v equal to 450 kilometer over hour constant okay constant is tracked by a radar from a from here okay so now determine the r dot theta dot r double dot and theta double dot so r dot theta dot r double dot Theta double dot. Okay. As observed from A. So it is clear in the question they want you to find the R dot, theta dot, and so on. And observe from A. So it is clear to you the origin point is A is your zero, zero. So now you know that you need to use R theta. Okay. And you know that it is the, the reference point is here and the increase of the angle is this one giving to you this one so you, you have all the information start from here the point to analyze the angle increase angle and what to find okay so you have all the information here okay so how do you solve this problem Okay, so this problem actually is really easy. The way to solve is you just do it. So then, okay, so this is how easy for you to solve this problem. Not even two seconds. Okay, that's why I said this is really easy example. Okay, thank you. So the first thing that you need to do is to draw the r theta axis which is from this zero zero point okay and then you do uh, make a line toward the, the point that you want to analyze and extend this point outward so you will have this one as your r axis okay so the theta is 90 degree to this line and towards the increasing of theta so 90 degree and you will have this one as your theta so 
so here in between these two is 90 90 degrees so, so now you have the r theta axis okay so let me just write down the the one that we have where is it the equation that we have okay so that is easier for us to find to follow so we have AR equal to R double dot minus R dot squared A theta equal to R theta double dot plus 2 2 R dot theta dot AR is theta and then we have VR equal to R dot V theta equal to R theta dot Okay So we are A theta So you have the, all the equation there Okay So you need to find this thing Okay Which is R double dot Theta double dot R dot theta dot Okay So the first one We will start by using the uh, Resolve the V into VR and V theta first And then because of that We can have the R dot and theta dot Later on, we will resolve the AR and A theta So that we can have, we can put these two known uh, component here Here and there And then you can have the theta double dot and R Okay So first thing, we have draw the R theta Now you need to resolve this V into VR and V theta Okay So we have this This is the axis which is Upward here is positive, so of course the axis will go there. So this way is negative, this way is negative, this is the positive R. So now you want to resolve the V into VR and V theta. Okay, we will use the method that we have used from the first chapter, which is we must resolve and make sure that the original force or velocity vector will be in between the two resolving force or vector okay so we have these two axes r and theta okay so we want to maintain here right in the middle so we should have here this will be your vr and go downward here is v v theta okay so you have the vr and v theta okay so you now you can resolve this one into VR and V theta. Okay, so angle here is 45, right? 45, so 25 has been used here, so you leave it leave you another 20. Okay, 25, we have 45, 25, and 20. There. Okay, now you have this one, VR and V theta. Okay, so from this V, I'm using 20 degree to the R. So from here, you can have the VR equal to V, which is 450. I, I can, uh, okay, so 450. Now I want to convert everything into meter per second. So 450 times divided by, okay, so 1 to 5. So the VR equal to V cos 20, okay, which is V is 450 km per hour. I have here convert into meter per second, 125, so 125 cos 20. So you calculate this one, you have 125 cos 20 equal to 117.46 meter over, over second, okay. So now we have used one as VR, the other one is V theta, of course, V, this one is cos, this one is sine 20. So, it is V, what is the value of V? So, 1, 2, 5, sine 20. Okay, so the V theta is downward, which is opposite of this one. So, I have to put the negative value because it is opposite of positive theta. So, the value is equal to... 1 to 5 sine 20 So you have Negative 42.75 Ok 
okay so the vr here okay 42.75 okay so now we have this one we want to answer this question the r from here i can get directly the r dot equal to vr equal to 117.6 okay but the v theta taking from here we want the r dot so the theta dot so theta dot equal to v theta divided by r Okay, so the V theta is minus 42.75 the R. It's not the R. This, uh, the R is like, okay, the R is this one from A to B. So the R is 1000. Okay. So the value is negative 0 0.04 to 8. Radian over second. Okay, that is for R dot and theta dot. I will write here somewhere. R dot 117.46 theta dot is equal to 0.428 radian over second. Because we will use later on into R uh, theta dot. Okay, R dot and theta dot. Okay, so now we have the value of R dot and theta dot. We need to calculate the R dot and AR and A theta. First, after that, we can use this equation to find R double dot and theta double dot. First, you need to calculate where is the value of A. From here, you didn't know. All here is all is the unknown. R double dot double dot all is the, the unknown. Okay? So, you need to have at least... If you put here, this is known, this is known, but this is unknown, this is unknown. You have a lot of unknown, you cannot solve from here. So you must find from somewhere else what is the value of A. Okay, the information that you have said that velocity is what 25 meter over second, constant. So from here directly you can say that we have the A tangent is equal to zero. Okay, so you can calculate what is A tangent and you know the other one is A normal equal to V squared divided by V squared divided by by rho. Okay, so from here you can, you can see that you have A tangent equal to 0, A normal equal to this one which is equal to A. Once you get this A, you can resolve to get the AR and A, A theta. Okay, so... A normal equal to V squared, 1, 2, 5 squared, divided by rho. The rho is not no longer this one because this is the, the curve of the thing. Okay, this is the R. The R will be your rho is 2,000. So this value will be 1, 2, 5 squared, 2,000, 7.81. Okay, so now you know the value of A, which is A normal, but you need to, to know what is the direction in order for you to resolve into AR and A theta. To know this direction, you need to be able to draw the NT-axis. Okay, so NT-axis, from here you know that the T-axis is always on the same line as the V. So I'm just using this line of V. Putting this way, this is your T axis. 90 degree to this line towards the center of rotation. This is center of rotation. So this is your N axis. In between this is a 90 degree line. Angle between these two is 90, 90 degree. So A is equal to a N. So the A is here actually. So this is a. This is the direction of A equal to 7.81. Okay, so you need to be able to have the angle here so that you know this is your A. You need to resolve the A into AR and also A, A theta. Okay, so this will be your AR, this will be your A theta. Both is positive. So at least you know what is the value of angle here or there. Okay. 
So we have uh, 25. Uh, this is 20 here. All is 90. So it leaves you with another 70 degree. Okay. We have 70 degree from here. So now you can calculate the value of AR and A theta. So I have that. I'm using the 70 degree from here to the R. So my AR equal to A cos 70. Okay. So A is 7.81. Cos 70 equal to 7.81 cos 70 equal to 2.67 and then you want to have the A theta equal to this is cos so 7.1 sin 70 7.81 7.34 7.34 This is meter over second square Meter over second square Okay so Now you have all the value The VR, V theta R dot, theta dot And also R, A, R and A And A theta Okay, so now you see that from here That we have combined the two type of analysis Which is R theta because we want to find the A R and A theta, no, no, the R dot theta dot is something, and then we, we are given also the this curve and radius of curvature, and say that the V is constant, so you can use to calculate the A and resolve at the end into A R and A theta. So now you have the A R A R theta and this value, you can apply this in this equation. So this one will be. Uh, AR, we want the R double dot because this is already here so we want the R double dot so R double dot equal to I'm taking from here AR plus R theta dot squared so this one will be okay. AR taking from here 2.67 plus R what is the value of R R is referred to this R data, which is 1000. 1000. Theta, theta dot, theta dot is here. 0 0.428 squared equal to. Okay, we have one answer here. I'll continue with the second one before I calculate that one. We want the theta double dot. So from here, we'll have theta double dot equal to. A theta minus 2 R dot theta dot divided by R which is equal to uh, A theta this one 7.34 minus 2 R dot this one 117.46 theta dot 0 0.428 divided by R which is 1000 so you have another answer so let's calculate that one so we have 0 0.0428 squared times 1000 so 2.67 Plus this one, we have 4.50. The other one is negative 0 0.0428 times 117.46 times 2. 7.34 minus answer equal to 17.5. 39 radian over over second okay so you can check from the book what we have here is 117 negative 0 0.4 4.5 0. Oh, I didn't divide by 1000 
So divide by 1000 We have 0 0.0 0 0.01739 Okay, so that's all So the thing that you need to know is Okay, you see that from the question They ask you R dot, theta dot and something So you know that it is clear for you to use the R theta analysis And the question said Use, uh, analyze this point from A So you know that A is your origin point And drawn give for you to you the, the theta here So you know which direction is your positive theta From here you make a line Get the AR and then 90 degree to the AR using this one you have the A uh, th the theta and then you the first one to answer that one you have to to resolve this V into VR and V theta the second one you want to resolve into AR and A theta but we didn't have the A so you have that to combine with anti axis because it's given to you AT uh, the V is constant so AT is zero can use to calculate the AN from here and then you must be able to draw also the anti axis because you want to know the angle to uh, resolve into AR and A theta. Once you resolve, you put it back in the equation and then you get the answer. That's all.